Okay, uh, which brings us to the next topic. Uh, favorite. Um, so you you can see it's um, it's um, it's David who wrote favorite with a British. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 for uh, sorry. I made a short list for this one. You're yeah. you're speaking the King's English there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You write that's tires right. with Y, not with I. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I made a list. Of, I made a list of four that I always tune into for different reasons. Obviously, Mike, MGK Boston. Uh, I do like the way that he's very irreverent um, and that that Friday cheers thing that he that he does, and that stupid cat that comes and keeps biting him and scratching him. It makes oh, me laugh every time. Uh, obviously, uh, you two guys. I also love Brian, Embryonic Robot. Yep, Brian. Uh, he's up in Canada too. Um, I love Vinyl Richie, even though uh, his musical taste is so different than mine. I don't know whether you, you follow Vinyl Richie, but he does like punk, real hardcore punk. But he's just, he's, he's a funny guy. And I, and I do like um, Mazzy. I do like Norman Maslow because there's undeni undeniable that he's, um, you know, he's older. Uh, might even be older than you as well, Steve. And but he's got lots of experience. He, he he loves the Beatles a bit too much for my liking, but he's super knowledgeable and he's very comfortable in front of the camera. And so I do like um, I do like watching him. Although I have a beef with Norman, and that is he he's either incredibly rich or he gets loads of freebies from the record companies because he's always holding up really expensive albums. You know, how do you get onto that train? That's what I want to know. I know he came across a uh, big collect of a friend that had passed away. I remember he did a video about going to his home and I mean, and they rented a truck. So it was quite a sizable collection. But uh, yeah. Steve, the floor is yours. Uh, let's see. Well, you know, I mean, I have my regulars, the people that I really, you know, communicate with a lot. But to me, the guy that has, it's must-see TV. It is Jeff Witcher's Vinyl Destination, his deep dives. When he does them, it's just an incredible amount of work. He has great skill with editing. He's funny, uh, knowledgeable. And I remember when he did the Led Zeppelin, he did a deep dive for all uh, eight Led Zeppelin albums. And each one was about 30 minutes long. Mm. And when he did Led Zeppelin 4, I commented, you know, I asked him, I said, how, how many hours did this take you to put together? <laughs> and he said, roughly about eight hours. Oh, wow. So, I mean, he puts a lot of time into it. You know, plus he's married, he works, he has kids. So, I mean, he, he may sleep less than me. I don't know. But... Uh, Jeff's channel, I, I really enjoy his stuff. But, you know, like you said, MGK and um, Gary from Physical Format Rock and Roll, like he was my first. It's like your your first, uh, you know, album that you hear. You love it by that artist. Well, Gary was my first introduction to the VC. And actually, I'm meeting Gary for the first time on uh, May 17th. He lives in Ohio. I'm driving to Cincinnati to see Uriah Heath there. So we're going to meet up at the concert with uh also with alex from beer and vinyl the three of us are going to meet up there yeah so, i like him too yeah yeah, yeah. alex very, alex another guy 33 years old really knows his music but the older music i mean the music that you and i grew up with david he knows it's sometimes he'll say so like he's like sam st john too sam st john's only 30. they'll say things about those acts that I've been very intimate with for 50 years. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't ever remember hearing that story or I did not know that. And so those kind of guys, you know, like you FBA, I mean, you, you guys impressed me. I mean, you're, you're, you know, you're old souls, but um, you know, you're young men. I am. Yeah, I am T totally. Yeah. It's not the first time. Some no, I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm young. I know. And all that back catalog yet to discover. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the good and the bad about it. I mean, yeah. you got to pay a premium price for it now. <laughs> that's uh, right. And, uh, you know, it's not already in your existing collection. So, uh, 
Um, yeah. Still building up, yeah. 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 Uh, to me, very hard to, uh, of, of course, see you guys. Um, and, I'm, and I'm really, and I'm mean it, really. Uh, David, I'm a big fan of your uh, your videos since day one, your non-musical related content. And uh, okay. it's, it's every video pops. Sometimes I don't have time and I really take the time to watch it uh, quietly several times and not only say, hey, hello, hey, great. Because I know there is something very interesting that will be coming out of it and uh, help my reflection and um, hope we, we have a good exchange. And, and Steve as well. Steve, uh, very supportive. Uh, he's been on my channel almost from day one. And uh, we have a lot of common ground, the prog rock. Uh, we are uh, we are having a prog stream on his channel. And he, he was kindly invited me to, to join. And I was really happy because I... I, I love this genre and uh, it gives me the opportunity the opportunity to um, yeah to to get a little more and more people in on his network and uh, every video as I said the, the five years in life of an artist very structured uh, you get a lot of information within uh, 10 or 15 minutes and uh, I like the, the personage the character as we say in friends very friendly so so yeah and um, I also like uh, a German channel, which called uh, Across the Borderline. Uh, is a channel in, in German, so yeah, you have to speak German. His name oh. is er Erwin or Erwin. He's very knowledgeable. I'm, I'm Americana folk. Uh, really like his voice, the way he talks. Um, Michael Forty Five. He has a weekly live stream on Wednesday. It's very interesting uh, with uh, Thomas Busk and Stunny. All. Uh, uh, often participate. Uh, Thomas Busk is a guy in Denmark. He has a huge collection of everything, rare stuff, and he play the stuff. So they sometimes dedicate a show to Fela Kuti, to Verb label, to post punk. They choose a topic, and uh, you, you get you get to listen to amazing, amazing stuff from all over the world. World music. So it's a Michael Forty Five channel, and, uh, and and my, my and my buddy Fred. Fred, uh, Big Star 1000. Um, we have a lot of things in common. We're both Frenchmen. He's been living in Australia for 20 years. Uh, he's 10 years older than me. And we grew up in the, on the, we are from the same neck of the wood in France, so to say. And he has more experience. He has a greater collection. And I think he's showing me the, lead, he's showing me the path mm. because uh, he was very into some kind of music that I'm in now. And uh, he, He's very curious about discovering new stuff, world music, and uh, the way he talks. I thought, okay, maybe it's it's me. It's me in the future, you know. Everyone does its own past journey, but uh, having someone like that, so you you can trust, you know, it's someone you can trust. And uh, but so many channels, it's really hard to pick three or four or five. So yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, the longer you're in this, the more people you get to know and channels you end up liking, you know, how do you keep up with them? You know, and I don't know if you guys do what I do. A lot of times I'll set the speed at 1.25, 1.50. Now it depends upon the person who's talking. Some people just talk fast naturally. So it's, it's hard to put them on fast, but so I can get through more videos in a shorter amount of time. I speed up the play. Because nobody's playing music anyway, so you know, and it it allows me to get through more. Like MGK Boston, hard to put him on past one point two five because Mike talks too fast. Um, I can't do his at one point five, but you know, he sounds like a chipmunk. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of them that I will just put at a faster speed because it takes a ten minute video might only take me seven minutes to watch it. So yeah. How do I sound in 1.5? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit worried here. Like, like a stupid French. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I oh. think the thing I would add is that the there's some people out there in the vinyl community who, and I kind of hinted at this earlier, where they're, they're definitely giving well two things. One, they do a little bit of homework, but not too much homework notwithstanding what the, the the guy you were talking about earlier, Steve, uh, who did the Zeppelin rundown. So I, I don't know that particular channel. Um, but but 
I think it's important to do a little bit of homework. Otherwise, what you know, you kind of got to sell the proposition. You've got to have something to offer somebody uh, rather than just hold up albums. Um, so I really appreciate people who can evidence that they've really thought about it, maybe lived with the albums a little bit before they talk about them. Don't just pull them out from the shelves and so on and so forth. And the second component is, this is what I trailed earlier. If they give a bit about their personal life circumstance, just makes the whole thing a lot more interesting. I mean, you know, I know you guys only online, but you know, I'm spreadsheet Steve. What the hell was that all about? You've told us today on this uh, live stream, so I didn't know that. That's great to know. I'm curious about what what, what work people do, you know, and, and how are they able to they able to like you were saying earlier, Romy. I was people who are got families and are working like like hell. They can still they make time to put thoughtful videos together. And so, in a way, the ones that give more get more attention in my books. I will give more of my time and concentrated time to people who do that little bit extra. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, Mike mentions here, you know, he's got his invites out to you guys. You know, that's, it's, it's amazing that this is happening. How many people are going to meet up at his house for this party? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mike. I will. Uh, thank it, you very much. It, it's quite incredible. Check it out, Mike. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, it's one thing to say that about, you know, the VC, how everybody gets along. But really, I mean, it, it's quite a testimony to Mike um, because he's so well liked that all these people want to go and spend time at his party, you know. Okay. So, I'm not yeah. sure I could keep up in the beer drinking stakes, though. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> and.